165 bulletproof vests from the Detroit police and Wayne County sheriffs now are on their way to the people of Ukraine. We can send something over to help those citizens who are fighting and those military people as well as those law enforcement officers over there. I feel, it makes me feel good. And these are the same vests worn by the special response teams as well as patrol officers. Describe what this is, Chief. Well, this is a very thick uh, Kevlar special response team vest. Uh, it's designed to resist uh, high-powered rounds. Uh, we also have a trauma plate that goes in that, uh, that sits right in front of the heart. Now, the vest would have been recycled, used in training exercises, or given away to other police agencies anyway, as they have expired. But they're still good. Vests still provide value even well beyond the expiration date. What kind of bullet will, will I be able to take? It's a, it take a 30 yard, uh, six. It's, it's a very... What's in your gun? It's just a, my, my gun's, it's, it's a, it's a uh, 40, Glock caliber, 40 so caliber. So it would be protected? Yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. This is the, our SWAT team wears this. And as far as how these bulletproof vests will get to Ukraine, that remains secret due to security issues. Do you have any insight into the need for these type of vests in Ukraine? Well, we see the need because we see the bodies. We, we see the people dying. We see the people being killed. That's the need in itself. I have a good working relationship with council. And Both the Wayne County Board of Commissioners and the Detroit City Council approved sending the vests to Ukraine. And who knows, there may be more on the way. And they can use them to uh, help save lives while they're defending the area. In Detroit, Charlie Langton, Fox 2 News.